I don't understand how you can be that mean. And you still don't see it. And, and, and you actually feel brave enough to to blame me for something that you can't even blame someone. But I understand you 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 are not at that point yet. Sorry. I was so horny that I was sleeping with anything that moved. Guys, girls, whatever. I wasn't checking what gender they were. Pulse, breathing, good enough, let's get naked. I was always different as a kid. Say, so, I'm the youngest of four boys. Well, two older brothers and a twin. But my twin keeps reminding me that he was poor first, so te technically, I'm the baby. I was the wimp. Artistic, not athletic. I had a gym class. In games, when they picked sides, I was always picked last. Better the guy with the wooden leg than Wimpy Ricky. I guess that's why I work out so much now. And I lived at home until I was 22. I didn't want my mom to think I was a slut. So when I stayed out all night, I told my mother that I had had too much to drink the night before. I was being responsible by staying over rather than driving home. I'm surprised my mother didn't clue in. Now other gay friends told me that they were sure their mothers knew or suspected even before they were sure of it themselves. And it's not like I didn't leave huge clues. <laughs> I asked for hairstyle Barbie for Christmas. I got it too. This wasn't one of those normal Barbies. I'm talking You know, do you remember the commercials? This really big life-size head that came with a bunch of fur colors set in its face. She had her own brushes, combs, barrettes. And what was really cool was if you held down the button at the base of her skull and jumped on her hair, her hair would grow. <laughs> and if you wound the knob in the back, you could make it sure again. <laughs> she also had lipstick, Rouge, and all that stuff. I forget. Anyway, I just loved my Barbie. I slept with it and dragged that thing everywhere. I'd put her in the back of my wagon and off we go. I even took it with us on vacation that summer. Come to think of it, I haven't had a toy I loved that much since. This could explain why I enjoy shopping with my female friends. I pick out outfits for them and make them try them on in the dressing rooms, just like dressing a Barbie doll. I guess it takes me back to my childhood. Or maybe I'm just weird.